factor investing. Global markets comprise dozens of asset classes and millions of individual securities, making it challenging for an investor to build a diverse portfolio that will drive optimal returns. Factor-based investing is a strategy in which investors choose securities based on attributes or factors historically associated with above-market returns. Factors should be broad, persistent drivers of a risky asset's performance on which investors can depend for generating returns, reducing risk, and improving diversification. There are mainly two types of factors in investing. One, macroeconomic factors, such as the rate of inflation and GDP growth, can help explain returns across multiple asset classes, including equity and bond markets. Two, style factors, such as value, size, and quality, try to explain returns within different asset classes, such as commodities and equities. Within these broad categories exist literally hundreds of factors, so selecting the right set of factors that maximizes returns and minimizes risk is problematic. With the advancements in big data, financial analysts and experts have created so many factors that, in the words of Professor John Cochrane, they have created a zoo of factors, further complicating the problem. The first step in devising a machine learning financial theory is to identify the right exhibits in this zoo. A factor-based investment strategy typically involves defining a set of factor-based rules and then following those rules to build diversified portfolios. For example, an investor may always follow the rule to long inexpensive stocks and sell or even short expensive stocks. Obviously, for any factor-based strategy to work, the underlying factor, in this case, the value factor, must predict the market or asset class behavior correctly. That investors can so easily access new technologies and ever-expanding data sources further complicates this zoo of factors. Data mining may well deliver factors that have worked previously but are not real and will not repeat their performance in the future. Such a factor may be a product of pure randomness, along with the researcher's confirmation or selection bias. To understand it better, say we start mining data assuming no real factors exist. Still, if we test enough candidates, we can find many common attributes that delivered strong returns in the past. But these attributes may lack any significance for the future, as we started by assuming none of the factors would be real. They are just the result of searching through enough random returns to discover factors that look good, possibly coincidentally. Building a strategy on top of false factors exposes the investor to higher levels of risk. The investor may not only fail to make money, but also pay trading costs and a management fee for implementing a strategy that was destined to fail. Moreover, every investment has an opportunity cost. Taking on risk in a fictitious factor prevents you from taking on risk in other options that could have delivered higher returns. This is why finance and investment professionals are extremely skeptical of factors discovered through data mining. That said, identifying the correct investment factors can bring great rewards to investors. Imagine if you could identify the factors with which the doyens of investment like Warren Buffett, Benjamin Graham, or David L. Dodd made their millions. You could repeat their financial performance by investing in stocks that have those key traits. Unsurprisingly then, academics and researchers have exerted considerable effort to identify those factors. For example, Yaron Levy and Eva Welch study and explain 600 different factors in their book Long-Term Capital Budgeting. Luckily, we need not concern ourselves with every exhibit in the zoo of factors. Researchers have identified that many of the apparently different factors are not unique, but variations are single theme. Themes are not quantitative in nature, but can be measured and validated by several underlying variables. For example, the value theme is most often measured using the price to earnings ratio, the earning per share, and the liquidity of a company. The themes we discuss in this course include market beta, value, size, quality, momentum, and bond and term. You may ask, what happened to the rest of the 600 or so factors in the factor zoo? 
Many have faded away after failing the test of time. Perhaps they were the random outcomes of data mining, or perhaps their efficacy was period-specific. Many of the factors we ignore explain phenomena that are already or better explained by the factors we recommend in this course. We focus on these six themes or main factors mentioned. These themes are at the core of machine learning-based quantitative trading strategies. They build the foundation of the financial theories that drive our predictive machine learning algorithms. To demonstrate the validity of these factors, we evaluate each factor using the five stringent criteria, which will be explained next. In short, a factor must be persistent, pervasive, robust, affordable, and logical.